TFNN. Headline News Update. Let's look at the market. Yesterday at this time, the Dow was at about 27,180 or something like that. Yesterday, it closed, having smashed down to the 26,719 area, and it closed at 26, uh, let me see, 26,864. This morning, it opens a little, little bit mixed, slightly positive, and then out of the blue, buying comes along. We're now up 267. It's almost like, you remember that May, when was it, 2010 or something, we had that uh, that crash, flash crash in the morning and by the afternoon, we're down 1,000 points and up 1,000 points. And then if you went to work and you came back, you said, oh, um, mm, casual day today, not knowing that you had a 2,000-point move. Well, this is a little bit like that, except there's one thing that's really important. Tomorrow is going to be important because of the weekly chart. If the Dow doesn't close above 27,398, it's made a peak E in the Chapman Wave methodology. In that weekly chart, still with very good technicals, um, if it makes that new high, it says, you know what, uh, this is just a minor little blip and we will we'll make maybe nominal new highs, but nothing much to see on the downside. If we give back a chunk of this gain by the by this afternoon, by the close, the Dow is only up about 160, 150. The S&P right now has had a really good bounce as well. Let me show you the chart. S&P um, also an inside day. It's up 28 to 3,008. If it closes below 29, I would say 2993. That's what we're going to say. No, no, it still needs time. In all of this, we're, what we're really looking for, and I mentioned this yesterday, that we're really looking at time more than price based on what the technicals are saying in the weekly charts, which are all very positive. So, yes, this consolidation could continue a little longer unless there are new, substantially higher highs on the weekly basis. The QQQ right now is trading um, up 3.42. It made a higher high than yesterday. That is a big positive. And gold got smacked to the downside and it's now only down 10. But the dollar had a fabulous move. Started that leg D in the monthly chart that I've been talking about for ages. I'll talk about it when I get back. Have a great day. Otherwise, hope to see you in a few minutes.